Too many servers and bartenders are quite frankly afraid of upselling. They don't want to come across as pushy or they think they're gouging the guest. When they think or feel this way, they just won't do it. It's easy to understand why they feel this way. Nobody likes to be sold to. The best salespeople are satisfying a need or fixing a problem versus jamming something down someone's throat. So we as owners and managers have to teach them the art of upselling and why it's so important to your restaurant's success. I'm gonna share with you what you should be teaching your restaurant staff on how to upsell without turning off your customers. I'm David Scott Peters, restaurant expert, coach, and creator of the Restaurant Prosperity Formula. I've been coaching restaurant owners since 2003, and I'm really glad you're here to learn. Today, I wanna to talk about teaching restaurant staff how to upsell without turning off customers. I'm gonna share that with you in just a moment. But if you like tips and tricks like this, do me a favor, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, oh yeah, that bell so you're notified my next video tip comes out. And for more tips and tricks for running a profitable restaurant or to hear restaurant owner success stories, make sure you tune into my podcast, Restaurant Prosperity Formula, found on all the popular podcasting services. Now I wanna start off by attacking your servers and bartenders, their attitudes, their attitudes about upselling. The best way to change their mindset, right? The mindset of, of selling, upselling is a negative. You need to address their attitude towards the process. You need to explain to them the nature of our business, that we are in the business of hospitality. Our goal is to give our guests the best experience possible, an experience that is all about the food and beverage, the atmosphere and the service. And the reality is they're all tied together. So what you're gonna need to do is teach your service staff that by offering the ability for a guest to upgrade their vodka martini from a rot gut well vodka to a premium vodka makes the drink better. You'll actually improve the guest experience by suggesting to the guest that they order the best item on your menu, even though it may be the most expensive entree, will almost guarantee they'll love their meal. And when they love their meal, no matter what they paid for it, it was great. So we need to educate your staff on the benefits of upselling to a guest by providing them a long list of examples and how each example makes guests experience better and overcome the negative attitudes attached to the word selling. Now teach them how to upsell will also make them more money. Through the art of upselling, you can affect both their top line sales and your bottom line efficiencies. The top line sales part is twofold. The first part of that is a direct impact on increasing your sales, right? If you teach your team how to upsell, your sales go up. Now, think about it this way. There are only three ways you can increase your sales. Bring in a brand new customer, the most expensive form of marketing there is out there. You can get your customers to spend more every time they visit, and you can get your customers to come back more often. When upselling is done correctly, you can easily increase what the customer spend each vi visit and all while ensuring they had a great experience, making them wanna come back again and again. And when done properly, upselling is a win for the service staff too, because they ultimately improve their tip income. The bottom line efficiency part of teaching people how to upsell is that when you can sell items that make your restaurant more money, and or reduce your food cost or beverage cost. When you do this, you have the ability to change your bottom line. Now, I will tell you, it does require accurate, up-to-date recipe costing cards and doing a routine analysis of your menu mix. But with that said, you need to help your service staff focus on using the right words when upselling in order to make this a successful thing. So when upselling, you wanna use words that evoke emotion. For example, you should try our homemade country pot pie. It has a buttery, flaky crust, farm fresh vegetables, and juicy chunks of chicken breast. Or you might say, if you're only gonna have one dessert in your lifetime, you need to try a piece of our spiced gingerbread cake served warm, and it tastes just like Christmas. And I have found that to make it even more wonderful is you add a scoop of our homemade French vanilla ice cream. Like who could resist that? What you're going to be doing is painting a picture in your guest's mind. And if they see it, they'll want it. 
This is a skill that needs to be practiced on a daily basis. It's best when you add it to your daily pre-shift meetings as a consistent training tool and as a role play exercise. But I want you to beware, upselling can backfire. When you focus too much on the process of upselling, you can actually hurt the guest dining experience. So you'll want to avoid the following. Don't bombard your guests with unnecessary information or too many choices early in the selling process. Build rapport, then engage and inform. You wanna avoid blanket phrases like, everything's good here, or take a look at the menu and I'll be back. This shows a lack of knowledge and preparation. You should also make sure you don't hand out dirty menus. Menus are a sales tool and dirty ones, well, they're a turnoff. You need to keep personal preferences to yourself. You might not want a dessert after a big meal, but your guests might. Basically, what to say after the guest has also taken your recommendations, right? So your guest is taking your recommendation. What do you do now? Make sure they feel good about their order. You need to teach your team to use phrases like, great choice. We get a lot of compliments on that. That's our most popular beer. Or, oh, that goes great with an XYZ Chardonnay that we're featuring right now by the glass. Upselling is not a bad thing. Rather, it's a great thing. By training the art of upselling to anyone on your team who has contact with your guests, it, it's not just about your service staff, but every point of contact from hosts to anybody who has contact with a guest to, to bussers, everyone needs to be taught how to upsell. And by upselling your guests in the right way, you ensure they come back again and again because they had the best dining experience at your restaurant. You'll increase your sales, you'll increase your profitability, and you're gonna quickly see that your staff, they're gonna stay with you longer because they're making more money. There's a lot of benefits to teaching your team how to upsell. If you're tired of not being able to leave your restaurant because no one else knows how to run it, I wanna make sure you know it doesn't have to be that way. You can leave your restaurant. It is possible to build a team of people who know how you want the restaurant to run with trained and responsible people in place. You can give yourself time away. What would you do if you had time away from your restaurant? Would you sleep better? Would your relationships improve? Would you feel more relaxed? These are all things you deserve to experience as a business owner. It's why we own our own businesses. If you would like to learn how to own a restaurant that doesn't depend on you to be successful, click the link in the description to watch a free video to learn exactly what you have to do. Also, be sure to subscribe to get my weekly tips and watch these two videos to get more information and guidance for running a successful restaurant.